Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can better organize your perfect projects using controller objects. When you're first starting to learn perfect, you'll probably be creating a lot of test routes in main.swift to try things out. But if you keep doing this, your main.swift will become a big cluttered mess. A better practice is to separate the logic for your web app into different classes, each of which have specific responsibilities. I'm going to show you one way of doing this that makes sense to me, but keep in mind that you can architect things differently if that's what you prefer. This screencast has been sponsored by Perfectly Soft, so big thanks to them for sponsoring. Now let's dive in. I have a perfect project here that has a simple model class and is configured to store this model in a database. Right now you can see that my main.swift is cluttered with all kinds of test routes and most of these methods are quite long, doing many different responsibilities. For example, this test route does two different responsibilities. One, it deals with the request and the response, and two, it parses to and from JSON and interacts with the acronym class. Let's see how we can clean this up by creating separate objects for each responsibility. First, we'll use Perfect Assistant to open a terminal to our project folder, and we'll create two new files. One is acronym API, which will be responsible for converting to and from JSON and interacting with the acronym class. The second is basic-controller.swift, which will store the routes, work with the request and response objects, and handle exceptions. We'll then use Perfect Assistant to regenerate our Xcode project so it detects the new files. Let's start by cleaning up one route at a time so you can see how things work. We'll start with this test method here. Our goal is to move it completely out of this file and better organize each piece of logic into the appropriate spot. Let's start with basic-controller.swift. We'll import a few frameworks and add a comment to remind ourselves of its responsibilities. Then we'll create a plain old Swift class. Now let's open main.swift. My goal here eventually is to move all these routes into the new controller class, but we're gonna start with this test method that we're working on right now. I'll copy the route and switch back to the controller. I'll simply make a new property that returns an array of routes and I'll paste the code in here and tweak it slightly. Next, let's copy the method body into this class. There's one big difference though. This top part deals with the acronym object in JSON, which is the responsibility of the acronym API. So we'll delete all this and we'll call a method on acronym API that we'll write in a second to do all of this. Now, we'll add all the code we deleted earlier into the acronym API class. As before, we'll start with a plain old Swift class. Then we'll create our test method and simply paste in the code we deleted earlier. We'll tweak the final result to convert the dictionary into a JSON encoded string. We could go with this, but we can do a lot better. This bit at the bottom that gets the acronyms as a dictionary contains a lot of code that we'll want to reuse later, so let's refactor this a little bit further. Let's refactor these first two lines here, which retrieve all acronyms. Personally, I think a good spot for this would be the acronym class itself, so I'll add that there. Next, we need to refactor these lines, which convert the acronyms into an array of string to any dictionaries. We'll create an acronyms to dictionary method that does this. Then we'll create a helper that calls the all method we wrote, followed by the acronyms to dictionary method we wrote. And finally, we'll add one more helper that calls the previous method and converts it to a JSON encoded string. At this point, we can simplify our test method greatly. Delete all this code and replace it with just a return try all. Let's try this out. Back in main.swift, I'll delete the test handler and the test route. I'll also create a new basic controller and register the routes that I still have in main.swift along with the routes from basic controller. Now I'll build and run and go to slash test. And whoops, uh, it has some annoying escape characters there. That's because I've pre-converted the JSON into a string in the acronym API method. So I need to change the method to string instead of JSON here. Let me try again and nice, it works as before. At this point, I can repeat this process to clean up the rest of the routes, but that's a little bit repetitive and boring, so I'll do this offline. As you can see, at this point, my main.swift file is nice and clean. Basic controller is easy to read, and acronym API is nicely refactored. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to refactor your code out of main.swift into objects with different responsibilities. If you want to review the final project, you can just download it below. Keep in mind that this is just one of many solutions. Feel free to organize things differently in terms of what makes sense to you. The key thing is to avoid clutter and duplication as much as you can, and organize things into objects that have clear responsibilities. All this talk about controllers reminds me of the first time I saw a universal remote control. I thought to myself, wow, this changes everything. 
I know, I know. That wasn't even remotely funny. All right, I'm out.